Zongpo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host, Choni. Parenting is not an action which gives immediate results. Gradual persistence is the only way to be successful parents. Each and every action in parenting is aimed at future results. Losing hope and becoming angry for even minor mistakes of children is the wrong way of parenting. Being optimistic is one of the ways of cultivating positive psychology in parenting. Constantly train the kids to be optimistic, to expect the results in the long run. Let's see how our last week's participants are doing. Last time uh, he promised me uh, that he will watch the TV on low volume. After the show he uh, listened and he watched the TV on low volume. This volume low. I watch TV in low volume now because last time I went to television and I promised my mom because that I will watch the TV in low volume. I am very happy because I came on the show. A child depends on his or her parents for everything in life. Parental involvement in the activities of children will help them be confident and smart. Various activities together are occasions for parents to know their children more deeply. Let's see which family we have today. My name is Kinzang Tenzin and I am from Tashigang, Barsam. And I have been here for more than about uh, six, seven years now. So I'm a businessman in a small way actually. And then I have my family here and then she's my wife. Uh, who is also from my same village. We are from same place and then we have been uh, married for more than about 15 years now. And then this is my uh, eldest daughter. Uh, her name is Pema Yang Zom and then she's reading in class 9 in Changanka Middle Secondary School. And the other one that I have a son here who is also studying in Changanka Middle Secondary School and he's studying in class 7 and her name is Sanam Zangmo. So she is also studying, studying in the same school. So she is studying in class five. So the youngest one is my small one here, who is not yet uh, in a school. So maybe by next year she'll be able to go to school. Let's welcome our first participant, Kinzang Tenzin, and ask his daughter, Sonam Zangmo, later the same questions and tally the answers. Welcome to the show, Ola. And my first question, as always, is do you know your child? Uh, yeah, I think I know. Yeah, <laughs> and you have four of them. Right? Yeah. All right, so um, tell me, is it difficult bringing up uh, your eldest is a 14-year-old and a 5-year-old, the yes. youngest one? So is it difficult um, to be a father for the 14-year-old and a father uh, for the younger one? I don't one? see that difficult because I, always, uh, I have been always been teaching them from the childhood left that uh, they should be taking care of themselves and they mm -hmm. should have to know all their responsibilities. So I don't feel that tough for me. I see, okay. What about your wife? Maybe it's difficult for her. <laughs> I think definitely she must be facing a lot of problems, but uh, she must bear that responsibility as yeah. a mother. I see. What about you as a father, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you I, decide yeah. not to take the responsibility. <laughs> I, I have my responsibility too, but um, I am the person who, who earns bread for uh -huh. my family, so mm -hmm. I have to always away. Mm -hmm. So I, I think uh, I'm not giving very... Uh, enough time to my children. I see, your wife does that. So yes. your wife's a homemaker, she stays... Um, yeah, she stays at home. I morning. see, okay. With four, four children, I think um, that's a wise decision for your wife uh, to stay home. But I mean, there are people who choose to work at the same time. Was it your idea to have your ho uh, wife staying home? Or was it uh, her no, idea? It was, it was not my idea. It was actually her own idea that mm -hmm. she wanted to stay at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has been saying... Uh, Several times before that she wanted to do something yeah. for my children only. Yeah. So that's how she's staying at home. And you have no problem with it? I don't have any problem. Okay, so you're okay being the sole breadwinner or earner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have to I have to tie so much actually. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Um, do you feel that's a lot of pressure on you? To uh, yeah, sometimes I yeah. feel that. Because uh, I have to be very competitive in this kind of a, you know, kind of a developing uh, kind of a wall mm -hmm. that uh, we have to be competing with each and everyone to do something to earn. Mm -hmm. So that's how I feel sometimes that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of pressure. I see. Now, there, there are a lot of people out there who think that um, because now you've said you are the, the, the bread earner in the family, 
Do you feel like you have the upper hand uh, of decision making at home, or? Uh, yeah, sometimes, uh, but I don't have that such. Mm -hmm. uh, we always discuss together. We meet each other. We just mm -hmm. discuss uh, all the things together, and then we uh, we we come to the conclusion. I see. So okay. So I I'm not always the uh, person who is having upper hand. I see. So it's it goes back and forth. Sometimes yes. it's your wife, yes. sometimes yes. it's you. And most of the time you sit and uh, discuss. Yeah. All right. That's really good. Before anything, let me explain to you the rules. I have 10 questions here with me and I'm going to ask these questions to you. Then I'll ask your uh, daughter the same mm. 10 questions and then later tally the answers and that'll be your score. Okay. okay? All right. So are you ready for the questions? Yeah. Your first question here. When was the last time you visited your village with your daughter? With my daughter, I think it's in 2008. 2008, okay. Yes. Question number two. What is the first thing you do on Loser? Uh, first thing what we do is that uh, we always prepare Tupa, actually. Yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> and so then that's how we start our Loser. I see, And uh, okay. we get together. All right. And then uh, we go to a picnic sometimes. Uh, it depends whether we are free or not. Sometimes we, are, we never used to be very free. Mm. So we just go in that way. I see, okay. But the first thing is the tip, right? Yes. All right. Question number three. Do you make plans for summer or does it? Ha uh, do you go at, with the flow? Do you plan or is it? Uh, no, we, we never used to plan actually. I see, okay. Yeah, we All just right. go as uh, we get time. I see, okay. Question number four. Who is your daughter's best friend? I forgot her name. <laughs> <laughs> I like the very honest answer yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I know she has a best, she has a best friend. Okay, then, uh, tell me something about her then. She studies uh, in the same school. Same then, class. Yeah, in the same class, and also she is also a girl, uh -huh. but uh, I forgot her name. And then they have been together. I, I saw them going together, and then they consider themselves as a very best friend. Okay. But I don't know her name. You don't know her, or you forgot? Uh, I forgot actually. Okay, all right. I, <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. The most <laughs> blunt answer we've had ever. Uh, question number five. Do you know her role number in class? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> okay. Did you ask her or? No, I didn't ask her also. And then I don't know her num role number. I see. And then even I had a very tough time uh, finding her class once there was a, a parents teachers meeting and then we had to do in the classes. And then I was not able to find her class. So somehow I started uh, to talk to her back uh -huh. at home and then somehow I got her class. Oh wow. So do, can you tell me why has that happened though? Uh, it's because uh, I don't visit high school so I much. Okay. I used to be always busy most of the time and then when there is parents meeting uh, she always uh, choose me. Mm -hmm. Choose me to go to a parents meeting yeah. because I have to be there. Yeah. So that's how I get to her school. If not I cannot get I see, okay. uh, time to go to her All right. Places. Do you ever get the time to sit down with her and listen to her? Uh, yeah, at home sometimes. But given your profession, I mean, my father also has a travel agency, so it's very difficult for him to spend time. It's mo mostly my mom who sits with me yes. and listens to me and talks yes. back to yes. me. Yes, yes, that's true. So maybe that's why, yes. right? But your wife would definitely know. Do you think your wife would be able to answer these questions better? Uh, yeah, she may be better than me. I see, because okay. Because she spends much time with her. Yeah, yeah, yes. definitely. All right, okay. But still, I'm glad you came and we're going to continue with you. Don't worry, we're not going to call your wife and <laughs> replace you with her. Um, question number six. Who helps her cover her books? I do. And oh, okay. then, yeah. And then uh, I have one a nephew mm -hmm. uh, who is staying with me. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he's also working somewhere, actually. And then he does everything for them. I see. Yes. Okay, all right. So it's you and the nephew. Why not mom? Uh, she is always busy in the kitchen, of course. preparing food for us. <laughs> I see, all right. Question number seven. What is her favorite TV channel? Uh, I always watch uh, English TV. That's uh, NDTV, Indian English channel. Oh, okay, all yeah. right. Uh, but with her? Uh, no, they always watch another channel. What, what so, are the channels that she... Uh, they watch uh, cartoon characters like, I think, Cartoon Network. Cartoon, okay, all mm. right. Um, question number eight. Any outdoor activities you encourage your child to play? Yes. Uh, what are they? Uh, she plays badminton. Okay. And then uh, I believe that's her best sport. I see. Her best game. And then I always encourage her to do that because mm -hmm. she wants to pursue that. And then it's good for her. So I always encourage that. I see. Badminton. Um, question number nine. 
Who is she close to, you or her mother? Uh, she's close to her mother. Okay, all right. Question number 10. Would your daughter know who the Prime Minister of Bhutan is? Uh, I don't think she may know that. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, with this, you've answered all the 10 questions. Now we're going to have your daughter come over. Okay. We finished talking with the father, and now we have the daughter with us. Hello, and welcome to the show. Uh, before anything, please go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Sonam Zangmu, and I'm from Tashikang. I reached in Changang Middle Secondary School, and I am in Class 5A. Okay, all right, Sonam. Your dad told me that you have a lot of brothers and sisters, right? Yes, ma'am. Do you like having a lot of brothers and, or, and sisters, or do you wish uh, I just had just one of them? <laughs> do you like it? Yes, ma'am. Do you um, get into little fights, quarrel? Yes, do you quarrel with them a lot? Yes, ma'am. And um, how does that happen? How does it end? When, when brother you, yeah. or my sister come in the middle when we are talking. Okay, all right. And then um, who ends it? How does it? Who, who stops the fight? Mm, me and my sister, small sister. Oh, you guys are the peacemakers in the family. No, no fighting. Do you say that? Yes, ma'am. Right, that's very good, though. Um, so tell me, what is, um, tell me something good. One good thing about having a brother or sister, having siblings. I am very happy that I have my sisters and brother because they help us to read and write, and they also help us how to. Play. They also tell us how to play, and they teach us how to write and read. I see, all right. So you look up to your sisters and your brother for them to help you um, read. It's fun reading with your siblings, right? Yes, and reading to your siblings. If you have younger ones, you can read it to them. If you have older sisters and brothers, they can read it to you. If you don't know some words, you can go and ask them, right? Yes, and then they can also change, bring good habits in you. For example, if your handwriting is not good, they can help you tell what, which letter you're writing wrong, where you yes. should improve and all that. So that's very good. I have two sisters. Uh, I have a sister, elder sister and a younger sister, and I love, at my age now, I love talking to them because it's very difficult to get friends in Timpu. <laughs> so, but you seem very lovable and I bet you have lots of friends. But I tell you, um, having brothers and sisters has um, truly be been a blessing for me. It's been, I've been blessed with them. So I value my uh, relationship with my sisters a lot. And my sisters and I used to fight when we were little, a lot. Especially my younger sister and I used to fight a lot. But um, as we grew up, it changed. Now we don't fight as much. We still fight, <laughs> but we don't fight with our hands or anything. Um, it has, the fighting has stopped and it's becoming lesser and lesser by the day. Um, but the fact that I get to talk with her, I can trust that person, right? I can trust, uh, and they will never hurt me because they're my own brothers and sisters, right? So that um, I'm glad you can see that, and it's really good to have a sibling in your life. I'll be the guarantee there. Tugush. Um, now, I have asked your dad 10 questions about you. Now I have the 10 questions with me. You're going to answer that. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Here's your question number one. When was the last time you visited your village with your appa? When I was five or, or four years old. Um, which year would that be? How old are you now? Ten. Ten. Which means it would be 2008 or 2009, right? Yes. Fine. Question number two. What is the first thing you do on Losar? I woke up early in the morning and wash my bodies mm -hmm. and my face mm -hmm. and brush my teeth and enjoy the Losar. What is the special thing you eat um, or do in Losar? The first thing you, you do that's special. But waking up and taking bath, washing your face, that you do on a normal day too, right? But on a lone low, sir, what is the one thing that, one thing, or what is the start? What is the, be in the beginning you do something? Do you do something that is different from the other days? Low, sir, is just like any other day for you. Day? Uh, we eat uh, tukpa and, we eat tukpa and kabzis. Okay, all right. Who makes the kabzis? Mother. Mother, do you help her? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Do you make plans for summer? Do you, family, does your family make plans for summer? Yes, ma'am. Or um, does it happen as, like, you don't make plans. It just, you just... As time comes, you, you it just happens, you know, or do you plan? My father and mother only plans. They plan? Yes. Well, how do they plan? They plan to go with their friends and uh, take their children and all. I see, okay. But do they plan ahead, though? Now, do they make plans, like, for example, when I'm saying summer break, right? Do they plan ahead of summer or... Do they, the, these plans that come up in summer break, are they any last minute chances or more, or is it like pre-planned? Himalera. Himalera. Okay, you think they plan the summer break. Okay. Question number four. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Sonam Dema. Sonam Dema. Um, tell me something about her. Where does she study? She study in Pizzling Law Secondary School. So she, she's not in your class? No. How did you meet Sonam Dema? Ma'am, I, I met her. I, I meet her in the phone. <gasps> so you've never seen her? No. You've never met her. You met her on the phone. How did you get Sonam Dema's phone number? Ma'am, ma my mother and her mother's best friend. Oh, okay. I see. I see. All right. But I was just going to tell you, if you met some stranger on the phone or on the internet, it's not a good thing, okay? But your mom knows her mom, so that's, it's a safe environment there. May It's good to make friends there. But never trust a voice or a message. Don't believe, okay, internet. Nowadays, I'm really scared for your generation because it's going to be a tough um, ride um, being surrounded with internet and it can easily trick you. You don't know who's writing. For, for example, if I'm writing to you saying, oh, I'm, a f uh, I'm 10 years old and I go to um, Finsome School or something like that, and you'd believe it, right? Right? Yes. But am I 10 years old? No. So anyone could be lying. So you need to be very skeptical. But fine. Who's your best friend from Finsling? Sonam Dema. Sonam Dema. Your name is Sonam? Samu. Sonam Zangmo. Okay, all right. Question number five. What is your roll number in class? My roll number is 34. 34. How many students are there in your class? There are 44 students. 44. Do you get along with all of them? Yes. Okay. Question number six. Who helps you cover your books? My father. Your father? Okay. And anyone else? Yes. Hey, who else? My brother. Brother? Brother as an older brother or is there someone else in the house? Yes, my cousin brother. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. You have to be specific. The kush brother is like your mom and dad give alumina and the brother love you. Anyone to aida pagi pinchagi alubavich and you call them cousins. The kush. You can definitely in our culture we say brothers long but more achu long ajiv long kolle. But um, when you translate that in English you have to be specific cousins. Tukka. All right, question number seven. What is your favorite TV channel? My favorite TV channel is Doraemon. Doraemon is a, is a cartoon show, right? But what's the channel? Disney. Huh? Disney. Okay, all right. Question number eight. What is an outdoor activity that your parent encourages you? Outdoor means chika, activity. Any activity that you do outside, sports activities, games activities, anything. What do you play? Badminton. Badminton. Do, do your parents encourage you to play? Yes. Okay, all right. Do you like it? Yes. All right, that's good. Question number nine. Who are you close with, mom or dad? Two of them. Ah, very diplomatic. No, it's okay. I bet your dad wouldn't mind. You can be very honest. And if, he, if you think he's uh, upset, you can pull him in the corner Dama, and say, really sorry, Appa, I didn't mean it. <laughs> so you can be honest. Mom. Mom, why do you think so? Why? Because she always make me lunch, food, give me food, and pack my lunch. I see, see, she's there, right? Okay, all right. Not that, that your dad isn't there. Your mom is only able to pack that lunch because your dad has made sure that there are resources to make that lunch. If no one brings the potato, the potato, the round raw potato, right? Um, what will your mom make? Although she loves you from the bottom of her heart, 
someone has to bring that, right? Yes, ma'am. So, who is that person who brings it for you? Mother, ma'am. No, but <laughs> mother, I'm sure she would go shopping. But mom makes, right? Mom cooks and all that, and she puts it in your plate. But who gives the money? Who brings home the money to buy all these? Father. Father, right? So they both play an important role. You should be equal. And I love your first answer, but I wanted you to be a little more honest. It's okay, though. Can we? I know your dad would understand. The push. All right. Your last question. Do you know who the prime minister of Bhutan is? Oh no, no, I think you know. I can see your lips moving and I think I can decode it a little. But who is the Prime Minister? His first name is starting from Tsring. Yes, Tsring, okay. So you sort of know. And what does it end with? It ends with the T again. Tsring? Tashi. Topke. Tugash? Venture Tsring Topke. Tugash? But close one. So now you know, right? What's the last name? Topke. Topke. Tsring Topke. Tugash? All right, with this, we have answered all the 10 questions. Now, let's take a look at the scores. Go. When was the last time you visited your village with your daughter? 2008. When I was four years old. What is the first thing you do on Loser? Prepare Tupa. We eat a Tupa. Do you make plans for summer or do you go out with the flow? We never used to plan. My father and mother are the plans. Who is your daughter's best friend? I have a name. Sonam Dema. Do you know her role number in class? I don't know. That four. Who helps her cover her books? I do. My father. What is her favorite TV channel? Cartoon Network. Disney. Any outdoor activities you encourage your child to play? Badminton. Badminton. Who is she close to, you or her mother? Mother. Mom. Would your daughter know who the Prime Minister of Bhutan is? I don't think she may know that. I don't know. We have the scores now, and um, your father wasn't able to answer correctly. Uh, the question number three, it said, summer plans. Your father said you, they don't make plans, but I think maybe you and your wife appear to be uh, to have plans, maybe something like that, because kids, she's saying you make plans, in plan, you make plans ahead. So that is one question. The second question was, who is her best friend? You didn't know her name. But you said you completely got it off. <laughs> you said she went to the same school, right? But um, your dad said there's a girl in your school from your class that could be your best friend, say, but you said Sonam Dema. When did you meet Sonam Dema? When I was reading in Pisley Oh, okay, all right. Oh, so you've met her? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Um, but your dad some, said someone from Changgung, right? Yes. Okay. Question number five was, do you know her role number? Your dad didn't know your role number, uh, but your now would you know her role number? Yes. What is it? 34. 34. Okay, all right. <laughs> See, this show is helpful. And the last question that your dad was not able to answer correctly was, he said your favorite um, TV channel would be Cartoon Network, but you said you like Disney better. I feel like they look, they have the similar programs, yes. and to us, to the adults, it. It's like the same program over and over again on different channels, but they are different. Um, one's ca cartoon, the other is um, Cartoon Network, and the other is Disney. So with this, your score rounds up to 5 out of 10, which is a great score. Are you, so are you happy? Yes. Yes, I think 5 out of 10 is really good. Um, and you brought your dad here, who does not get to spend a lot of time with you, right? Yet he was able to get five, uh, five out of ten. It's your mom who gets to spend a lot of time with you, Imbe. Yes. But your dad came here and he did really, really well. Now, let's go to the segment where we make commitments, as in the sense, if she has any bad habit, habits and if you would want that changed, you could commit for her. Or if you, as a parent, you have something lacking or lagging or something that you want to change as a parent for the betterment of your children, what would that be, now? All of my children, actually, they, they just uh, don't stay at all at home. I feel that way. Mm. So I always give them some kind of uh, uh, time to mm. study. Actually, I have even uh, I made a time table for them uh, when they should be studying and when they should be watching TV. I see. So this is what I wanted them to change, actually. They, I, it's not that I don't let them watch TV. Mm -hmm. They should watch, but uh, there must be some kind of a time for of them. Time frame. Yes. yes. Do you think that's true? Yes. All right, so after you've made the timetable, did it help? Yeah, actually it helped them. 
so okay. much because uh, they had to stick to that timetable yeah. and then they were studying at least. I see. Um, and for children, it is always good to have something in written yes. and put it up, which is why uh, in classes you'll see a lot of the rules or a lot of what they do is written down and put up yes. because they will know that that thing, whatever is up there, is constant. Yes. And they will follow it through. So timetable, making a timetable definitely helps. Yes. So now that's your dad's commitment for you. He said you and your brothers and sisters will start studying and following the um, schedule that your dad has made. Yes. Is that good? Yes. All right. Okay. The other thing I also wanted to stress actually is that um, my dad does that with uh, his... Uh, I have uh, my step-siblings. I have three yeah. of them. He keeps pushing on... Um, he keeps telling them to study like 24-7. It's like right after uh, dinner, study, before dinner, study, after school, study, study. And I think that is a waste of energy and waste of your words too because I feel like what I think my dad should do, what you do, make a timetable, give them time to enjoy. Yes. And when they're enjoying, you should enjoy with them or at least encourage them having fun but when it comes to the study time which should be like two to three hours a day i think they should strictly follow this yes. um yeah studying schedule but i would discourage most of the parents to always constantly keep on telling their children to study again and again because yes. then it becomes too much for the children and they really start removing themselves for the uh, from the studying environment they feel like it's a burden to study so uh, try not to do that for your children now we will go to our next segment, which is with love, where you'll get to read your letter to your daughter first. My dear daughter, I have been blessed with a daughter like you, and I consider myself as a fortunate person to have you born as my daughter. I would always wish you to be the best of best and wish that you go to the highest level in your life. Dear Father, I am the daughter of you. I am writing letter to you that you are the best father and I love you very much. Right, so sweet. Okay, well, um, do you write letters to your parents? Yes. Do you often do that? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, that's good. But us, I know, we barely get to write letters nowadays, yes. especially our handwritten letters, which is why I feel it is good for this show to encourage handwritten le letters. So I hope you enjoyed listening to your dad's letter. Did yes, you? Teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Now we've come to the last part where um, we have, I have two books for you. What does it say? What's the name of the book? Ao oh, Ao oh, Chi Chi. Good, Ao oh, Ao oh, Chi Chi. And the second book that I have for you, from these are both from Ministry of Education, is uh, 10 Things I Need the Most During 4th, 5th and 6th Year of My Life. You have a younger brother, right? Younger sister. Younger sister. How old is she? Four men. Four? Five. Men. All right. Fourth, fifth. So you can find out what your sister needs the most, okay, when she's five years old. And then we have the final gift for you, which is from Titan. So you can open it up. Do you like it? Yes. Okay, all right. I hope you make good use of it. And given the fact that you're in class five, and I'm assuming you know how to read time, right? Yeah. So you put um, that wash to good use, all right? Okay, with this, thank you so much for bringing your father. Thank you so much for coming. And um, did you have fun? Yes. Because I did. I totally had fun. And thank you so much. When kids ask permission or demand you to buy something, do not explode with an absolute no but approach the situation with the most positive manner and instead of denying it, convince them of why they are not granted permission or why the thing that they are demanding can't be bought for them. Denying frequently or answering with no's may put down the spirit of children and make them feel that parents do not love them. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of the show or if you have any feedback or suggestion, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and bye-bye.